Yo, what's good, Crow fam? You're here chilling with the real Satoshi Aoki. There's never a dull day in cryptocurrency, is there? Especially in the world of NFTs and metaverse. Folks, people are in absolute uproar in the Loaded Lion, Kronos, Crypto.com, First Frontier Land Deed community right now. If it wasn't bad enough, there was a mess up for the OG holders in terms of actually being able to get the amounts of land that really they will probably deserve it and there was probably a lot of land that went to people that invested later on and not from the start in the Loaded Lines collection. If that wasn't enough, there's been another incident. There has been an exploit where there have been many people that have been able to actually see what their deeds actually are and been able to actually trade those deeds, potentially even accumulate the rare deeds from the secondary market and actually hold them in the hope of making a monetary profit. Now, one thing I do wanna be clear about, I'm not exactly 100% sure that this is exactly how it happened, but I have done my best to try and find the most accurate information possible through the Discord, through the Twitter and other channels. I was actually made aware of this last night just before bed and I just thought to myself, well, this is definitely a video I do need to create to address the community and just try and give an insight from both sides. You know, I don't really want to go into this with a positive or negative bias, but just try and be as unbiased as possible and just really deliver the message from the community and try and create some understanding and hopefully we can end this on a positive note. It should be known that there will always be timestamps just down below, folks, so you can fast forward or rewind at your own convenience. And please do remember, NFTs within cryptocurrency, the space of blockchain gaming, metaverse, NFTs, you're more than likely going to lose your investment if you invest in the space. That's just the bottom line, all right? It's very new. It's very high risk. So why do we even do it? Well, the chances are that if you do pick a gem, then it could, you never know, 100 to 1,000 X. Maybe Loaded Lions is the Bored Apes of Kronos in the next year or two. And imagine that. That could potentially be life-changing. So... I think I speak for a lot of people in that that is why a lot of people do choose to invest in this extremely risky space. But I'm not a financial advisor, guys. These videos are not financial advice. And I certainly don't recommend you to get involved in this space. And I know I'm going on about this a bit, but if you do, you seriously need to be prepared to lose literally every cent. It's not the same at all as investing in the traditional stock market or even BTC and maybe even Ethereum. Now folks, before we jump into the Hulk of the video, I'd like to take a couple of minutes to announce the official partner of the Satoshi Aoki YouTube channel. Folks, I really enjoyed Concept 2048 Metamorphosis Collection. It is absolutely stunning. It's not AI generated, folks. This is handcrafted art with a proper budget and they have already had an IRL event. Concept 2048 has a very limited number of spaces on their whitelist. If you do want to get involved with the project and check out the whitelist, it's very, very easy to get involved. I'm going to be trying out personally for the whitelist. I will leave the instructions of exactly how to do that at the very top of the description of this video. Concept 2048 Metamorphosis NFT collection is actually designed by genuine, legitimate artists that are well known in the fashion art industry. For me personally, this thought-provoking artwork really does stand out and you can actually really tell the quality behind this project and it seems like one that is going to be here for the long term. With the 500,000 USD budget, these all are 100% handcrafted pieces of art. As you can see here, they already have had that IRL exhibit in Venice Biennale. Personally, I have invested in a lot of different NFT projects, but there are very few that actually go to this effort to actually have these events in real life. Personally, I think it creates an amazing bridge for the people that are into the traditional art scene where digital art is just becoming more widely accepted. And that natural progression to NFT artwork is simply just unstoppable. Make sure you do go ahead and get signed up to the Concept 2048 official Twitter as well as all of their other socials to keep up to date with everything that is going on with the project. Again, folks, all of the details will be at the very top of the description of this video, including how to get whitelisted for this drop. To really get an understanding of what's going on, let's just go back maybe a couple of weeks in time to really understand what ended up happening. So we originally had the actual drop for the land where you could actually go in and purchase if you were a loaded lines holder. Now, I've spoken about already in great detail how I didn't understand how the actual cap per NFT loaded lines holder was so large. What it 
really meant was that a lot of OG loaded lines holders didn't actually get to get as much land as what they had hoped for, and there were probably a lot of loaded lines holders like you know, that probably got in a little bit later and got huge amounts of tycoon land, for example. So the distribution between the OG holders was undeniably unfair and spread out quite a bit. I wasn't an OG holder at all. I believed in the project for a long time, but I picked up a loaded line less than a week before the actual drop. I was actually in surgery that day, but the following day was announced that there was going to be a resale, but there was a cap on the resale, I believe, of two actual frontier deeds, so two deeds total. I was fortunate enough to actually get two deeds there, and I actually purchased another one, so I have three in total, but some people have got like 20 deeds or more, and a lot of other people, I think, even missed out, even though they were all OG holders, so... I guess, you know, that was a disappointment from the start. I do kind of wonder why they weren't able to implement more of a fair cap of one or two from the very first drop to just really avoid this entire kerfuffle at all. I think it was just a bit of poor sort of management on the whole, and I'm just hoping they can really think about that and rectify that for any future drops. Then if we refer to the official Crypto.com Twitter, a tweet from the 21st of December. The moment we've all been waiting for has arrived. Get ready for the first Frontier deed reveal tomorrow. 26 2nd of December, 2 a.m. UTC, in approximately 5 to 10 hours. Check out how you can prepare for it. Now, this was what was meant to happen, but my goodness, what a kerfuffle. So again, there was an exploit. I'm not going to get into too much of the details of how it happened, but in general, there was a smaller amount of people. I don't know the exact number or percentage or anything like that, but essentially, people were able to see the rarity of their land, and they were able to make adjustments and exploits to benefit in a monetary way from this. Now, this is from the official Loaded Lions Twitter here, and this was from 2.02 a.m., just two minutes after the drop on December 22nd. GM everyone, we have paused the Crypto.com land reveal because of a discovered issue. We will get back to the community within the next few hours with a solution. We appreciate everyone's patience while our team works on this. Now again folks, I'm not exactly sure of the intricacies of the actual exploit and to be honest with you, I don't even want to know myself personally what land I actually had because to be quite honest with you, if I actually discovered that I had a mythical land and I lost that mythical land because of the re-randomization of this drop, I would probably just say, do you know what, I'm going to be jumping off a bridge straight onto a concrete floor 100 meters below because that would be absolutely sickening and very very, very frustrating, but this is the official Kronos chain here, guys, and as we can actually see, there are actually land plots here which co coincide with the actual token ID, so I don't know for sure if this has any relevance now, but I can only assume that with the randomization that is going to happen, this will probably become irrelevant in the future, but the simple fact that this is even here right now, you've literally got the token ID, which can be looked up, I do believe, out of the 25,000 total supply collection, and the corresponding land here, um, yeah, seems a little strange. Maybe you guys can comment out there for those of you that have a bit more details on this. Now, of course, as you can probably imagine, the community is in absolute uproar of negativity, and I can completely understand why. So I'm going to just go through a few of the tweets based on that tweet that I just read you from the actual community, things that I found sort of interesting and perhaps constructive as well. So this one here from CryptoJT.Crow and then the Canada flag. Only good solution is to leave those who minted and held alone and randomize those who sold slash bought. If people bought with ill intention, they will get screwed. Those who minted and held will remain whole. This is the only viable solution that worked properly. Now, in theory, in principle, I probably couldn't agree more at this stage. I don't think it's fair at all for those people that were just oblivious. So just to use myself as an example, again, I don't know what I got. I don't know if I got a mythical or, or not. You know, I'm not going to check as I told you before, because if I got a mythical, I'd probably just jump off a bridge. But what I can say is that, you know, I would be really angry if I got a mythical and then there was a randomization and then I got a common. I would be absolutely gutted. I would be absolutely furious. And I would probably take some time to see if I could, you know, get some compensation or just something in some way. I think emotion would definitely get a hold of me. I know myself, I get very emotional with these things um, and, and that's basically what would happen. So in theory, that's what should happen. Will that happen in real life? Are they gonna do that? I don't think so. And the main reason why is because again, I'm no software developer or anything like that. 
but I would think that there's going to be a lot more work required to actually go and find the people on the secondary market who went in with ill intention to actually buy up these rare NFTs and actually get rid of maybe their more common NFTs that are probably going to definitely drop after the reveal does happen. So Again, I don't know. Obviously, I can't say for certain, but I would think that it's probably going to be a little bit too much work for the team behind this, which, you know, obviously, if it is more work, there's more money, they're going to have a budget of what they, you know, are able to commit to this project. And that's the bottom line. And I can imagine it's probably a lot more simple just to re-randomize for everyone than to go and find all the people and reverse this, try and reverse the secondary sales on the market, if that is even possible. Again, I don't know. Maybe if there's any developers out there, you can maybe comment and let me know. Now, if this is true from Michelle.CRO, repeat again. Used to have two rares and one legendary, now six starters and one rare. It's not right. Now, obviously, I can't say for sure if this is actually true. Of course, you're going to be able to verify this on the blockchain if you really wanted to. But this is just a prime example. You know, if I was this person, man or woman, I'm not sure, I would be absolutely furious. And really, especially if they're an OG holder from the very start, then getting stitched like this, there needs to be some way that this kind of person, which there's probably going to be many of, can be made whole, okay? They should be made whole, even if it's in the form of some airdrops, or I don't know, some CRO, or just something. I don't know what, but they have to be looked after, guys. Keep mint, but just randomize all the lands again, then distribute. Whoever cheated will get a spanking for cheating. We were not supposed to know what the lands were pre-revealed anyway, so you can still randomize the lands again and be in the clear. You know, people are calling them cheaters, but they were just onto it and they just, you know, they just exploited it somehow. I, I'm not, I, I'm i personally not angry at the people that revealed their land through the metadata, okay? Um, if I had an early opportunity to do it, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say I wouldn't have looked. I probably would have looked. I can't, I don't know whether I would have exploited it and sailed and he sold it and tried to accumulate rares, but, you know, I don't think it's fair to be angry at these people, okay? I think you need to really direct your your accountability, I should say, towards the team, okay? Something happened where the team did not pick up onto something here, and this exploit was made possible. It shouldn't have been possible, so, you know, again, that's just my opinion. I don't think you should be angry at the people that actually did the exploit. As we can see here, this is an example I can imagine of someone who actually knows what this deed is according to their actual number of the actual deed NFT, all right? Because it says here, fantasies offer a $500 rejected, which begs the question, why would someone want to pay $500 for a random deed? Maybe they like the number. I mean, we can't say for sure, but seems a little fishy to me. And obviously we kind of know what the truth is now. And then going back to Peiko's original tweet here in response. So they checked my deed, right? Question mark. Because I can't understand why they would offer me something like that for 12.130. So at 5.43 a.m. December 22nd, this morning, First Frontier D grantees, we delayed the land reveal after discovering that a small group of users found a way to get a peek at what their land deeds contain ahead of the reveal. To ensure fairness, all deeds will be randomized again before the actual reveal takes place. So at its current duration, you can't go on and actually purchase any land at the moment. So that's where it's at right now. Here are the next steps for the deed reveal. Deeds trading have been paused. Land NFTs will be randomized again. Deed reveal will happen in the next 18 hours. Now, folks, I could go on about this for a long time. And, you know, a lot of what I've said, I am repeating. I'm fully aware of that. We will be discussing this as well in a bit more detail in my Sunday night crypto.com stream at 5.30 Eastern Standard Time. If you want to check out that one, that's a regular stream that I am doing every single week talking about all of this kind of thing. And you guys can interact with me there. But in a nutshell, folks, you know, I think it's always important to try and see both sides, positive and negative. Let's start with the positives. This drop has been oversubscribed aggressively within the Kronos ecosystem. The Kronos NFT ecosystem is a small ecosystem at the moment that is undeniably growing very rapidly. Loaded Lions, CyberCarbs, the Crypto.com First Frontier Land, they're not the only good collections that have done well or performed well, not only just in the bull market, which stopped a fair while ago, but in the pits of this bear market, there are actually a lot of Kronos NF N NFTs that I've been discovering that have held value very, very well. I mean, of course, the Loaded Lions, Cyber Cubs, these ones have held their value very well, and the volume and activity speaks for itself. You cannot argue with the objective fact that they're in a good place. So if you can imagine that these NFTs are doing great volume, great sales, strong floor price, 
really just a genuine solid community that I'm actively a part of in the actual Loaded Lines Discord. How's it going to be when they hit full ball? Okay, I'm pretty excited about that one. Because what you do need to understand, folks, is that I personally think that their intentions are not bad. They don't want to try and scam you. They're not trying to directly hurt you. Obviously, there's been some mismanagement, some errors. Things have gone wrong. People have gotten angry. But what I'm seeing is they're doing their best within their budget and within their power that they are, are sort of willing to allocate to this project to try and rectify this for the community as best as possible. Is it going to make everyone happy? Absolutely not. Is it going to be 100% fair? Absolutely not. People are not all going to be made whole. It's not going to be like that. But one thing I would say is I've been a part of a lot of NFT drops, mints, sales, events in the last year or more. And I got to say, every single oversubscribed drop has always gone horrifically. Website crashing, app crashing, funds getting taken, not getting the NFT. Just an absolute plethora of negativity. It has been absolutely atrocious. And when I compare this particular experience with the land drop here for Kronos, it's really not that bad because you've got to remember you are in a new and risky space, which I kind of touched on at the start of the video. Kronos NFTs, super risky. This is new, guys, in terms of the tech and the software development and things like that. And again, I'm not saying it's not possible, you know, for them to necessarily make people, people whole. I don't want to speculate on that too much, but... What I'm saying is, you know, projects like this, which I feel are pretty good doing things in the right way, and, you know, the data is in a really good place in a bear market, they're far and few between, all right? You're not going to find many of these projects, I reckon less than 1% that have been able to deliver what they've been able to deliver in terms of the volume, the floor price, the height. That's what I would say about that. Don't think they're going to be a rug pull. So, you know, folks, I can totally understand why people are annoyed and hurt. I totally get it. But at the same time, try and take a step back, take a few deep breaths, think about the long-term vision. Think about it maybe as a buying opportunity if you're a long-term believer because, you know, you can look at it from the other side and say, well, people are going to get angry. They're going to sell their land plots for cheap. Could be a good place to accumulate. Now, I've actually got a video coming out tomorrow where I speculate on the potential cost in one year when we maybe start to enter a bull market of what these floor price lands could potentially be. So make sure you stay in tune for that one. I'd love to know any thoughts that you have about this video and the whole situation on the whole. Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, like it. I try to be as unbiased as possible, all right? I don't want to fight. I don't want to be too negative, but I also don't want to shill and be too positive as well. I always just try and keep it as natural and factual as possible, folks. So I really do hope you appreciate the video. I'll see you in the Discord group and we'll catch you tomorrow for the next video. Have a good one.